Hi guys, it's your boy Kenzo and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna put your shit in a car for Alex. Ooh. Y'all, that song has been stuck in my head for like a week now. Comment down below one song you've been listening to non-stop and I'll listen to it. So for this video, I'm gonna show you guys what I did for my birthday weekend. Today is September 29th and my birthday was on September 9th. I can say that this month has been really eventful. I just really want to enjoy this month because it's my birth month without even thinking of like editing a video or like filming a video. So the way that I filmed these videos are just like whatever, like whenever I wanted to. So all of these videos are very spontaneous and like in the moment. So don't expect anything. I just want to share this with you because these are all good memories and fun times. So first thing that I did for my birthday was I watched Billie Eilish with my friends. It was so fun. She was so pretty. And really really good. I loved her voice and we were on the first row like And then a week later, I went to Lady Gaga's concert. Oh my god. Lady Gaga is such an icon to me and sh I love Lady Gaga. I've been listening to her ever since I was 9 or 8. This is actually like my birthday gift to myself. So I got myself a ticket to Lady Gaga's concert and this is how it went. This is me entering Balloonadome. Dome. I wasn't prepared for this amount of people. Look, Japanese show ends. So when my friends and I entered, we got our gold ticket goods. I was so shook because I didn't know that my tickets came with these. Anyway, this was the dome. I kid you not, this is the most people I've seen in one place. And this was the stage. At this point, I just couldn't believe that the, this moment was real, that that's Lady Gaga singing in front of me. I remember having mad goosebumps, like all my body hair is just erected like a dick. That's just my honest and genuine reaction at that moment. This part after she sang the hits felt really theatrical. It was so beautiful. It was like watching Lady Gaga at a musical. So wow. the part where I I lost it I really lost it I just bawled my eyes out Lady Gaga walked on my aisle like the aisle where I am seated at like Lady Gaga was like this close to me like this close to me what the fuck <laughs> anyway here's a clip <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Apparently.
definitely the girls in front of us, which is now behind us because we're all looking at Lady Gaga's middle stage, know me. They watch my YouTube and that's so crazy. They approached me after the show and they showed me this really beautiful video of me and my friends just like singing along. And we had a picture together as well and they were really nice. So thank you guys for this video. This to the LGBT <laughs> I was really happy the entire show, but this one in particular is the moment where I felt so free and so fun and so happy. Just seeing a bunch of little monsters just have fun and be free and celebrate music with me. And oh my god, it was so, so fun. Ah! Lady Gaga looks like she's having fun too. Queen skinny legend Versace boots the house down slay queen hunty mama and oop daddy work charlie x yet snatch my way these interludes though slay i'm speechless just watch admired by all faithful to their craft my gasp is quick <gasps> imagining we're free. we're free so like the way Believe in yourself and love who you are. Lady Gaga, they all slayed. Everything was so good. It was worth every penny. And after this show, I was never the same girl. I was never the same. Like, I started listening to more music, wrote more songs, just like went back to art again. I don't know what happened. Sorry, but I'm gonna stop vlogging because I'm an art bitch now. Yeah, she was just so inspiring, all the words that she said. <sighs> I still can't believe that I saw her live, heard her sing live, and saw her walk past me up close. It was actually like seeing a real goddess like pass by you. You know what I mean? And in the following weekend, I went out with Stan for lunch and went out with my mom for dinner and this is what happened. Stop by at Sunrise Shack, Hawaii. Hey, bye guys. Cheers. Hey. I forgot to record, but Stan and I went out for lunch, and then we went to Mark Jacobs in Harajuku, and then after we got some acai shakes. Ooh, it's so good. Hi, we're currently in Ginza, Tokyo Plaza, and I'm gonna go have dinner with Mommy. Mommy, say hi. Hi. Mom brought some cake for me. But we couldn't eat it here because we're gonna have to pay 2,000 fucking yen just to fucking eat the cake. No! But they were still nice though because they offered to put the cake in their fridge. So, I mean, not bad. Guys, if you're seeing this, if you're watching up until here, comment happy birthday Kenzo. Honestly, I thought it was just me and Ayumi for the day, but no one decided to show up. Got myself some Family Mart ice latte, and we're ready to go. So it's day two of my celebration, and I'm currently with Ayumi. And I'm with Noah. Yay! Hi. I wasn't expecting him to be here. Anyway, um, we're going to the Van Gogh Pop-Up Museum, and we're on the way. I got my Family Mart. I'm ready to go. I'm hyped up. I'm not sleepy anymore. Let's go. Oh 
my god, this building looks so fucking good. It's the first time I've seen anything like this. It looks like it's upside down. Right now, we're here in Ayumi's upside down pussy. It's great. <laughs> Ate a little bit of snacks here and there. Ate a little bit of snacks and drank a little bit of drinks. Look what I got from a special someone. The place was so good. I forgot to take photos in here because I was just like distracted, taking my time. It was such a beautiful time, beautiful place with the beautiful people. I haven't vlogged for a long ass time and this kind of feels weird like to vlog. I haven't vlogged for like a month. This is what's happening in my birthday today. If you guys want to see the photos, go follow me at Kenzo Martini and all my social medias. So now that we're done with the Van Gogh exhibit, we went straight to this restaurant that Ayumi booked a reservation at. This place was in Nakameguro and it was pretty chill because we were at the terrace. Throughout the day, I really thought that it was just going to be the three of us celebrating the whole day but all along this was actually a surprise party for me look who just came who are you who are you who are you okay so i thought that was it it was just all of them and look who just came I'm currently drinking this Mitsuya cider um, apple juice. It's really good, and I bought like a cup of ice and I just put it inside there so it's pretty cold still. I bought some chips too. I have my little camera here to take photos later. Not gonna lie, I really thought that I wasn't gonna be able to go to the beach this weekend because it was raining the past few days. Tell me why it had to rain on my birthday. Anyway, I'm happy and grateful that I'm here. This is pretty interesting, not gonna lie. This is a promise to myself that I'm gonna do this next year a lot. I'm gonna go to the beach alone, enjoy my time, enjoy my personal space. I love it. I love this. I think that this is a really nice way to close or end my birthday celebration. I just feel so good. I just feel so alive. And I'm ready to take on my week next week. I just wanna thank you guys for sticking by with me and hanging out with me me all the time i'm really really grateful i hope you stay safe and thanks for hanging out with me today i'll see you on the next video i love you bye